I'm going to give you some resistant band exercises to do without any doors, without any anchor points, and without having any equipment, just the bands and your body. Let's go. So what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of That Guy Health. Today, we're going to be getting into the resistance bands, particularly the assistant pull-up bands, all right? So listen, like the other videos, I know I show you how to change your bedroom door, your house door, your garage door into utilizing that as a piece of equipment and doing resistance band exercises, or we're using the mini bands. Today, we're not going to use any equipment. We're not going to use any anchor points aside from you the bands and that's it okay so this is this should be widespread i want to go over a couple of things we are going to do what are is called peripheral splits where we'll do something with the lower body then the upper body it's not quite the same as a compound movement and i know that there might be some misunderstanding on that a compound movement usually or traditionally is going to be a movement that is going to involve multiple mu muscle groups within the same movement all right so a compound movement might be something like flipping a tire. You're gonna need your lower and upper body at the same time, all right? Or if you're gonna do burpees, you're gonna utilize moving your upper and lower body in the same movement, all right? Peripheral splits is gonna be a situation where we're gonna do a set the lower body, then we're gonna do a set the upper body. And also that could be called a superset given it's in the same set, all right? Now I'm going over some of this because I've seen that maybe if there's a misunderstanding, uh, you know, an abundance, and we just want to clear that up to long educate you here on the channel as I learn, you learn. All right. So, the, excuse me, that is the difference in those movements. A compound movement is multiple muscle groups acting in the same set. All right. A peripheral split is where you will it, it, pay attention to that, a split. So, there is a division in there where you will do an, a set with the lower body. You will take a momentary break or a rest set, and then you will do a upper body, peripheral split, okay? Now, I would imagine you could probably do that where you go directly from one to the other, still will qualify as a peripheral split, but that would more tailor into what is called a superset, where you are working one muscle group, another muscle group in the same set, or even if you work the same muscle group and then went to a different exercise, in that same muscle group would still qualify as a superset. But without all that being said, let's get into this today. So I have the resistance bands here, and these are the three we're gonna be using, all right, because we're gonna use some upper body, we're gonna do some lower body, and we might need the heavier bands for the lower body. So first, we're gonna get into this to this, to this this upper body, all right? Now I'm gonna show you how to do some push-ups with the resistance bands. Now I wanna make sure that you get warmed up and stretched out before you start any type of exercising, all right? Take care of yourself, take care of your body, reduce the risk of injury, all right? Reduce the risk of injury, please. So get warmed up first before you start. Now, what I'm not gonna do today is because I wanna take up a lot of your time, you can decide how much time you wanna take up. Now, I would recommend you doing three to five sets anywhere from I'd say 12 to 20 reps, all right? 12 to 20 reps, 12 being the low end, 20 being the high end, no more than that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through each one of these exercises, one set with as many reps as I'm gonna do, and then you can add on to those sets of reps. Now, if you wanna do any other videos, of course, you know you can go on the channel, check out the other videos. Now, let's get into this. So we're gonna do resistance pans, push-ups, all right? So what I do is I put the resistance band right here, across my back, you see where the band is placed right here in my palm. Make sure you don't have any fingers in the way. We're gonna step on down here and we're gonna execute these push-ups. all right? Good form, elbows should trail alongside the body and we're gonna go. Two, three, four, Two, 33, 34, 
35. Oh, that is a nice burn, okay? Now notice, in that set, controlled push-ups, good eccentric, good concentric, contraction, and staying in momentum. Now notice, elbows run alongside the body. You don't wanna have your elbows out here. Horrible for your joints, horrible form for push-ups, just a no-go. If you're doing push-ups like that, I guarantee you, if you take your elbow, run alongside your body, and push up, you're gonna see the difference, all right? So right there, resistance band push-ups. Now, we're gonna get into split squats. Now, we don't have to take much break for that because now we're going to the lower body, all right? So the heart's pumped, blood to the upper body. Now it's time to force it, pump down here. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna get down here. Let's get this band first, just to test it out. Put this band underneath the arch of your foot, okay? Not your toe area, because then you get off balance. And we're gonna step back and push more back to also work more of the hamstring, okay? So get ready and let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All right, now, that's unilateral, meaning one limb was working. Now let's work the other one. Gotta keep it even. This still will be considered one set because this leg didn't get any work yet. Let's even it out. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And there we go. Legs, now listen. Always start with something moderate, then walk your way up. All right, now if you notice, or if you didn't notice, you wanna make sure that you're pushing through the heel. Not the front of your toes, putting excessive pressure on your kneecaps, okay? You don't wanna be split too far out. Too much pressure on your hip flexors. Bring it in, you wanna drop, push back, all right? So, there we go, a good lower body, good upper body. Now, let's go to the overhead press. Now, to work this overhead press, now you notice I might not take as long as a break as you because I'm talking and then I'm going to upper lower, but you will be operating three to five sets with the same muscle group. So you might need to take 45, 45 seconds for recovery. So we're gonna go right here. Remember what I say, put the band in the arches. We're gonna take the band right here, like a bar if it was across our chest, and we're gonna press up. Elbows slightly in front of you. I don't wanna see any elbows back here. Slightly in front of you and push like as if you didn't have your forearm, your hand, 
you were just a nub right there. That's where you want to focus, get that delt pressure, and don't overextend at the top. So where to go? One back in front of you. One. Notice how I control on down. Two. Three. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20. All right, 20. And you'll proceed to do more sets. Notice control on the eccentric. So muscle is lengthening and I'm coming down. Control that. Nice press and contraction at the top, okay? So now, that's another upper body. We're gonna pair it, complement it with a lower body. So we're gonna go grab our purple band again. This one will be traditional squats. And what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take this band, same thing, arches. Put your arches on, make sure your arches, the band is in the middle of your arch. You're gonna take the band, be very careful not to go too fast. Don't risk injury. Take your time, there's no rush. Take the band as it's flat in your hand, grab it, flip it, stay low. Put it across your back and here we go, all right? Keep that pressure on. We're gonna go into the squat. Weight in your heel. Nice on the way down, nice depth. And then come up. Do not hyperextend your knees by locking them. That is the way the body is trying to get rest, trying to use your legs as kickstands. And it will cause injury or could cause injury over time. We wanna keep a slight bend in that knee, even at the top. But in the hole, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Slowly overhead, and there you go. Squat with the resistance bands, just as if you had a barbell across your back. Next one we're gonna get into, bicep curls, all right? So let's get into these bicep curls. Gonna use our foot to anchor, all right? So we're gonna grab the band, flatten our hand like this. Same thing with the arches, two feet, about shoulder length. Now you may have to choke down on the band and what I mean by that, slide your hands down more or you can go ahead Try to go up. This is quite heavy. My band that goes in the middle of these two, broken. I'm gonna have a new video on that. Don't throw your broken bands away. I'm gonna show you how you can still utilize those, all right? And in some situations, better than the bands that are completely looped. So I'm gonna try this right here, because I believe I have enough bicep strength. We're gonna grip, band still flat across the palm. Right here, get your shoulders back. Elbows pinned to your side. Slightly forward in here to where your hips are. And I don't wanna see any bunch of forward shoulder movement yanking like that. We don't want a bunch of kipping, humping the band. And we wanna get nice reps, okay? So right here, shoulders slightly rolled back. Band in the palm. And one, right down, two. Three, 
four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Form is starting to fill. One. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Woo, yeah. That definitely felt good. Definitely. Get, let's get a look. Let's get let's get a few more. A few more. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that felt great. Now remember, if you got to step on down, there is no harm in that. Nobody should think less of you for that. If you can't get good reps with solid form, especially first to midway through, you're wasting your time. The primary mo mover is not getting the majority of the work and you're just rashing it out to different muscle groups. That's not what you want. All right, so listen, now we're about to go ahead, got overhead press, bicep curls. Uh, I think we could hit one more, which I'm, I'm just thinking. Let's go ahead, hit this tricep, all right? Let's hit the antagonist group to the bicep. All right, so let's hit this tricep because working triceps will help you with your bench if you don't know that. Working your triceps, increasing the muscle growth, increasing the strength will assist you with your bench press, okay? So let's go ahead and do this tricep overhead press. Let's grab this band first, see what we feel like. Same thing, all right, as far as your anchor right here with your arches. Now what you're going to do, so two different ways you could do this, and I'm gonna show you. You choose which one's comfortable. You can do this way, and what you'll do, slowly, comfortably, don't get, be all fast and wiggle in there. Your shoulders are important, they are precious. And you're gonna take it, go overhead, right like so, and press up. Two. Keep those elbows pointing, pointing forward. Ten. Let that tricep stretch. Eleven. All right. So I did eleven that way. I'm gonna do the other one the other way. Okay. So on this one, you'll go ahead, step in, get that over here. It's a little rougher, a little harder to do. I don't like it, but some people choose it. Be very careful. Now you got one leg, and people like to step like this. This. To me, it's not the comfortable one, but I found with some of my clients, they prefer to go through some of that extra first, just to have that one foot anchor. Well, I'll show you both ways, all right? So step up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, 10, 11. Wiggle out of it. Calmly, carefully step out. And there we go, all right? A multiple number of exercises you could do with all of your different bands. Okay, now technically most sets come with four. Like I said, one of my bands is broken, or should I say separated? And I'm gonna show you a video. I'm gonna have a video on this channel don't throw your broken bands away within reason. We'll go, we'll cover that in the video. And I'm gonna show you how you could use them for other exercises and still utilize them, okay? But your company should warranty you or maybe send you new ones. This company did not. I probably will do a review on that company. 
But other than that, if you need assistance making progress with your fitness goals, whether that's fat loss, whether you're getting ready for a wedding, your 50th birthday is coming up, 40th birthday is coming up, you wanna look better, you're trying to get summer fit, I understand all of that. I help a multiple uh, fitness goal type of clients assist and reach those goals. You can go to www.thatguyhealth.com right there. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget, when you become a client, you will get my fitness app, help you anywhere in the world, programming your workout protocols, helping you with your macros, all of that good stuff, reaching your goals, okay? So that's the video for today. Take these exercises, three to five sets, 12 to 20 reps, and get that work, okay? All right, you know what I say about this time? Be safe, let's build together, and peace.